right, so what do we have going on here? Excavating. Just digging a test pit. Yeah. Yeah, we found a lot of pottery just not very really big. A lot of flakes, too. Yeah. There we go. Do you want to see a special find? Sure. Only one that's not in the van. It's hematite. Mm. And what is the significance of finding hematite? They use it to paint themselves red. That's what they did. They had to paint themselves red with it. Yeah, it was sort uh -huh. of a sunscreen and bugger pill and all this. Right. Yeah, it's like ochre. Mm. We're finding pieces of uh, pottery. Yeah. It's a very small piece, but some pieces are are bigger than a fire fire uh, baked clay. And hoping to, uh, if we're real lucky, to find bigger sections of the pottery. We started finding these big pieces of firecracked rock pretty deep, too. Not on the top levels either, it was just down here recently. Mm -hmm. It's just sandstone. <laughs> it's not anything. That yeah, was hopeful. Is that a piece of sandstone so, what constitutes a test pit for the uninitiated? Uh, one by two meters square, that goes to about 50 meters down, or 50 centimeters. Dollars. Yeah, that would take you a while. <laughs> and uh, we have paperwork for everything. You know, we do we do it in 10 centimeter in increments. It's got to be or less. Gotta be level. Yeah. yeah, less. We uh, find like a special find like a big piece of. Or a so this particular pit that you have here has been something you've been working on for how long? Um, they've been working on this since last week. Okay. So a week and a half. Something yeah, like we switched today. Okay. We switched uh, switch teams. teams. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be in that pit, and they found like they don't know what it is, but it's a feature, and you can see the charcoal of where something used to be there. Oh. Yeah. I worked so. last week. I worked the test pit next to the feature, and we found a lot of pottery. And we were hoping it would connect the feature, but I don't think. It all oh, right. Yeah, uh, I got you. This is a slow process, but uh, but yeah, that's real important, of course, to yeah. to measure uh, and record everything found. So yeah, we gotta, it fits we into the context of the whole All right. We take yeah. uh, take measurements at the beginning and end of each day of where we start and how far down we're going. We uh, we actually are you familiar with the Munsell? This is a. Uh, at the end of every 10 uh, right. centimeters. I have you seen that. But yeah. that way, you know, you measure the, uh, red or yellow. the color, color of the soil at that point. Because yeah, red to one person is completely different than something to someone else. And so you have a standard point of reference. Too. Yeah. Field yeah. 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 So what can you tell me about this site here? What's, we were what's here, the history of working with yeah, this Yeah, we were here last year and uh, we found what looks like a cultural feature. Uh, probably a woodland period. Oh. What was so, our high corner? Uh -huh. Probably middle to late woodland. Uh, uh, this is something that you year. were just starting to uncover last right, year, right? right? Yeah. And uh, what kind of progress have you made on that? Well, I'll show you over there. Uh, okay. We're expanding it and we find a lot of uh, pottery, which usually indicates some kind of settlement history. Like presence of structures. Again, uh, all of it within that middle late woodland period. Where's the? It, it's, it's, when it's clean, you'll see it forms a really nice oval. It, it's just too neat to be uh, a, a natural feature. You know, river deposited. It's clean. Uh, it forms a kind of oval with a cluster of rocks, but nothing outside it. Okay, right. right. But they're not burnt rocks. There's no burnt soil, so it's probably not a hearth. But pits often have uh, rocks on top of them and inside. 
that if you're falling into a depression. The top layer uh, is that humus, the humic layer, you know, with decayed roots and right. things like this. And you can't see it too well here, but here you have these plows, you have the roots, but you also have plow scars. Oh. And they go east-west. But everything in this horizon is totally, has been totally uh, mixed uh, uh, over time. Below that you have an intermediate uh, horizon, which is partly still uh, part of the top, the A, and the beginning of the low, below, which is usually, usually sterile and deposited by the river. They start with level one, which is the top, uh, zero to ten centimeters below the mm -hmm. roof. And all that's screened as one group, and everything's put into a bag. And then at 10, they'll do the 10 to 20, 20 to 30. And here, for example, it's level one, but they're in the 10 to 20 below datum. In the corner there, at pin, is the datum pin from which we measure the depth. Hmm. And tomorrow we'll bring our transit to do a topo map and to tie these datum to you know, actual meters above sea level. Uh, when they get to 20, they change bags, they have forms for each level. And they excavate the next uh, 20 to 30 as a unit. And, and until, unless they get to a new soil horizon. Here's a piece of pottery. And this is the kind of pottery we can look, find pretty much. It's a body shard. Okay, yeah. So, Late woodland. We're finding some earlier pottery too. But mostly plain, some cord marked, but mostly plain. Grid tempered. What sort of story is this? emerging out of the finds that you have made here over the years? I mean, well, there, there are a number of settlements that would have been uh, occupied seasonally, maybe longer, at a time when they were beginning to uh, experiment with horticulture. And, and uh, on one side, they were already uh, farming. But this is that period when incipient horticulture, horticulture comes in. Uh, sort of just in the later stages of those mound builders. What would they have begun cultivating? Uh, well, they started with wild grasses, you know, oh, yeah. kind of podium, amaranth. And then, you know, uh, squashes, beans, later, and then corn, of course, became the state. But the kinds of things we're likely to find are things like uh, anything that leaves a hole. You know, things from houses, pits, hearths, burials. Hmm. 